So you're considering having a large print farm like Slant 3D mass produce some of your products so that you can avoid tooling cost and shipping cost and everything else and take advantage of all the advantages that 3D printing has. But you're gonna start out with a quote. And in this video, we're gonna talk about what we do when we get the request for quote and what you should do when you receive the quote back. So if you are looking to have a part mass produced, you have to get a quote from the manufacturer. In our case, you would go to our quoting page where you would insert a 3D model file and then give us information, as much information as you possibly can about your product. When that request for quote is received, it is assigned to an account engineer. The account engineer is someone established and who is knowledgeable about the 3D printing process, who is able to evaluate your part. What they're gonna do is they're going to pop open that file and they're gonna look at it and say, is this gonna be a manufacturer problem is this going to be a manufacturing problem and they take a number of notes about the part to see if there are modifications that can be made they might reach out to have a discussion with you if there are kind of detailed sort of issues that are way better to do over phone than via email or they might just take a few notes and include them with the response with the quote after they do that design evaluation of the part and make sure that the part is actually a good fit and is actually manufacturable because if it's not manufacturable we will just tell you we're not the right fit we shouldn't be making this part for you because it is our job to make sure that you you get a good result. And if that is not possible with your design, then there is no reason to continue the conversation. But the part has passed the manufacturing review. Then the part is run through our quoting system, where about 20 different variables from complexity to support removal, to what material it is, to the print time, all of these factors are pulled in and considered by our system in order to create a baseline quote for it. This is fine for parts between about one to 1,000 pieces. That can be automatically quoted and sometimes is, unless the part is weird in some kind of a way. And what I mean by weird is that computing systems are not very smart and 3D printed parts are very complex in what works and what doesn't. And there's so much variation within it that computers just aren't smart enough to quote them sometimes. So that account engineer will also evaluate that quote, see if it makes sense, if it's working right, and will make kind of a final pass to see, oh, uh, we need to consider this factor and this factor and kind of change the weights to make sure that the part is accurately quoted and not inaccurately over quoted or under quoted in some kind of a way by a stupid computer. So there is a human touch involved in the process. Once that quote is finally finished, which takes about one to three days, the account engineer will reach out to you directly with the quote and say, here's the quote, here are my notes and feedback. If you wanna get in contact with me, here's contact information. They will have a signature, they will have a phone number. You are welcome to reach out to them to discuss that quote more, and we highly encourage that you do. The engineer will also try to schedule a follow-up call with you to actually run through the quote and discuss it. But we don't want to restrict you in any sort of way. Ultimately, the cost of manufacturing a part is a big factor. We hope that you can consider it, and we hope that you look at the quote and if for some reason it doesn't fit with what your goals are that you have the discussion with the engineer to see if something can be changed or tweaked they try to be very transparent about what options are to optimize a part because again the better it can be made and the more affordably it can be made it's better for the partnership as a whole so we try to be very transparent about that to make sure that you have a good quality product all of that consultation is free at this point you now have a quote in hand if you have feedback or there are notes from the engineer that you would like to implement, then you can implement those changes and have it requoted. That engineer is dedicated to you for the rest of eternity, basically. So long as they continue to work at Slant 3D and have any sort of bandwidth, they will continue to be your account engineer and they will be your one and only contact at Slant 3D. They are the single person that all of your communications will flow through. That way you always have a single point of reference and who to talk to who knows your project very well and can then disseminate information in a useful way to anybody else who is necessary. Other design engineers engineers, other billing personnel, other people involved with the contracting process will be going through that account engineer to discuss your project with you because it is a better client experience and it ensures that one person has as much information about your project as you have provided them with. So throughout this process, do be as transparent as possible. And then we need to have an ongoing discussion about how to modify and improve your product to make it as viable as possible for mass production 3D printing, because you can go all the way into millions if you do it right. But you have to start with a good baseline, and that quote is that initial baseline. Have a great day, everybody.